Hi all, this video is related to execution of JMeter load test using Azure DevOps release pipeline and monitoring it in Azure application insights. So yes, let's get started. So you need to first log into dev.azure.com using your Microsoft account. Okay, then click on new project. Give any project name, say JMeter. You can have its visibility as public if you want to show it to everyone or private if you want to have accessible to yourself only okay then just click on create i have already created a jmeter poc project so i will open it click on pipelines click on releases okay then click on new pipeline so we'll be creating a new pipeline this way okay we can have any kind of templates if you have your own azure app service and you want to deploy your application to that only you can select this option or any number of options you are having here but for now i'll be selecting a empty job okay let it be as it is now we'll be selecting artifacts from here it will be picking your jmeter script csv files okay so the source type you need to select now if you have azure repository then you can select it from here if you have github account and you're having your repositories there you can select this option also and i'm having my repository in github so i'll be selecting this option okay now we need to select the service so we need to tell them from where from which github account you want so click on plus new authorize using oauth okay so it will authorize your github account now it will show me the repositories which repository you want to select i'm selecting sample poc okay because i have my jmeter script here then default branch master okay default version i'm selecting it latest from the default branch and you need to remember this source alias okay it is very important click on add this way we have added the artifacts now we'll be adding the task now this is really very important thing if you're creating a release pipeline any pipeline you need to understand that what is your end goal okay so here our goal is to execute a jmeter load test so what would be your steps you need to think that so according to me i need to have a jmeter okay so we'll click on this plus sign now i will write here jmeter okay when you will be doing it for the first time you will be getting this jmeter so you need to install it in your organization so this is jack patrol 34 is my organization so this way you will be having your own organization when you will be creating account so install jmeter in that okay i have already installed so click on add now you can have any version but my script is in 5.2.1 so i am keeping it as it is plugins if you want any extra plugin you can add it so see as now uh, as you remember that i want to monitor my test using as your application insights and you have seen if you have seen my previous videos then you would know that i have created a video where we can monitor load test using as your application insights for that we need a as your backend listener so i'll be adding that plugin as well okay if you want more details on that video i'm just sharing the link of the video in the description box okay keep these options as it is so this way your jmeter will be installed now what would be my next step that i want to execute my load test so let's do it in non-gui mode so i will take command line okay for non-GUI mode, what do we need? We need to give the command. So the command is jmeter minus n minus t, your script name. So what is my script name? 
jmeter sample dot jmx so i will write the script name here okay minus l say results 0 1 dot jtl this is my results file minus e minus o reports 0 1 okay if you want your jmeter file uh, results file in html format you can have it also okay advanced now working directory from where you want your documents to be taken what is your working directory so we have this as a working directory okay and the other options we are keeping as it is now your test is executed if you want the jtl file from where you can get it so let's download one more thing publish release artifact so when you will be doing it for the first time you will get this option publish and download artifacts from release pipeline so just get it installed for free and after that you will be selecting this option click on add okay now where you want this release artifacts to be uploaded so select click on ok just remove this so it will be uh, there in any it will create a folder okay for this so this is our pipeline created now i forgot to tell you the details of this option if you want a agentless job you can have it also currently i have selected agent job from here you can select any kind of job okay for now i have selected agent job and agent pool what does this mean if you want your release pipeline to be run on hosted one so you can select that as well if you want on default one that is your own hosted agent you can run on that as well so now i'm selecting azure pipelines what is the agent specification you want to run on mac ubuntu windows anything i'm keeping it as it is no changes okay just click on save click on ok okay so this way your pipeline is created let's get created a release for it you can select stages for a trigger change from automated to manual so you can select this stage click on create okay so this way a release has been created okay so this is the procedure of creating a release so this is right now not deployed okay so if you want you can get it deployed click on deploy okay so this is starting your deployment so see this way your job is executed successfully now you can see in your azure application insights as well just refresh it for once and you will see the results so see it is showing here the server response time how many requests got executed as i have already explained you this in my previous video you can get more details from there as well okay so this way from here we can monitor our load test as well now going back to release pipeline as i said if you want your documents like jtl file which script got executed if you want more details like reports.html so just go here download all logs you need to just click here and here all the logs will be downloaded click on open So see, this is your JTL file. If you want to open this JTL file also, you can just open it on your JMeter. Okay. Bin, copy it here. Sorry, paste it here. Now go to your JMeter. View results tree. Click on browse.
results01.jtl so see everything got passed you can see here you can make your own graphs using this so this way we can execute jmeter load test in the release pipeline thank you so much for watching the video and please let me know your views happy to help thank you